So first things first, every day I take a ritual vitamin and then I've recently been taking the Goli apple cider vinegar gummies uh, just because I saw them at Target and I wanted to try them. But yeah, so this is what I do every single day, no matter what. So Monday I started off with my typical smoothie. I always just add banana, blueberries, ice water, a lot of spinach because you can't taste it and it just adds in a bunch of greens, honestly. Um, and then I also always add some protein powder just to kind of add some substance and protein, some flax seeds, and some maca powder. I ended up layering some blueberries on the bottom and then I topped it with some peanut butter and then some of my homemade granola and you can find that on my Instagram. So today we were getting a pretty early dinner, so I kind of just ended up snacking on one of those little prepped potatoes and then I had to go maco bar and a coffee in the car ride. And then we tried out this new vegan restaurant in New Hampshire and it's so good and we just shared a bunch of things. How are you seeing absolutely an old phenomenal? I actually met her. her I'm a professor of psychiatry at Stanford. And how do we solve these problems in, in tree? Anyways, be, be cheers. like one on one. Breakfast time because I am so hungry. It is 10 o'clock. I just came back from the gym and yeah. So this morning I ended up having oats, which I have 99% of the time, and I just make it with water and flax seeds and maca powder. So didn't know this was coconut flavored until yesterday and I've had it for like two months now. I thought it was chocolate, which I already have one opened. So I'm um, gonna try this one out today. I ended up stirring in some of that protein powder with a little bit of almond milk and then microwaving it for probably like another minute. Um, and then I just topped it with my usual toppings of banana, some raspberries today because we had it. Uh, some frozen blueberries, which are essential, and then some peanut butter. For lunch, I ended up doing like the simplest but easiest and yummiest meal ever, which is avocado toast. And then I do just a big salad with like just a whole bunch of fresh veggies. And then I topped it with some tempeh just for some protein. And it's just such an easy way to get a nice nourishing meal with all the nutrients and it's so tasty. So my method for tonight's dinner was to chop up any vegetables I could find in my fridge, which I did cauliflower, some green beans, some sun-dried tomatoes. And meanwhile, I air fried some tofu and I just coated it in like nutritional yeast and garlic powder and then just plopped it in the air fryer. And I just cooked that all down in a pan and then at the last minute I added some kale. And I had some avocado on the side. And then for dessert, I just had one of my chickpea chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so I think breakfast, I'm just gonna keep it simple and then do a green smoothie for breakfast and oh, top it with some granola and peanut butter. And yeah. So today I wanted to make a smoothie that was like actually green. So I did banana, mango, spinach, 
Um, I did some flaxseed and maca powder like normal and then I did a coconut flavored protein powder and then blended it up with some water. Topping my green smoothie with just my homemade granola again and some peanut butter and some blueberries. Snack time! I'm gonna have a Gromacco bar and yeah. I'm hungry. It's snowing outside though. Can you guys tell? It literally came from nowhere. It's gonna make some dinner. I'm home alone right now, and honestly, vibes are immaculate. I'm very happy, so I don't know what I'm gonna make, but you guys will see. Also, hi, just wanna check in. Haven't talked to you guys really, so how are you? Let me go down below. Are you having a snack right now? Let me know if you're snacking. If not, go grab one, because why not? So then for dinner tonight, I decided to do some chickpea pasta just because it was simple and I could just throw it together so easily. So I did that with a side salad. So I added some frozen peas to the tomato sauce and then just mixed that with the cooked pasta noodles. And I also air fried some Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and then I just served it with a side salad to get some greens in. Today I ended up doing oats again, but this time I tried toasting my oats before cooking them just because I saw it on Instagram I thought I'd try it out So I literally just put them on a pan with some cinnamon and let that toast until like they looked a little bit brown and stuff um, And I just did it over like a medium heat and then I added in my flax seeds and some water and then cooked it over low and Yeah, I let it cook like normal and it was interesting. I think I should have let it toast more, but they're pretty good um, so then I just put it in a bowl and topped it with some coconut yogurt just because honestly guys if you have not had yogurt on oatmeal It's so good. So I put a little bit of that on it and then some fruits and the rest of my toppings So I didn't have time to have lunch because it was like from 12 to like 4 So I had to go macro bar and then yeah So I just got back home from getting my hair done today So I didn't really eat lunch because it took like three and a half hours So I had the protein bar, but I'm hungry So I'm gonna have like an early dinner Not honestly not really, by the time I'm done it's probably gonna be like 6.50 So but I'm gonna snack on my last little potato that I have prepped And then cook dinner and it's gonna be a great time. I might have a sparkling water. Um, yeah, so we're gonna cook dinner.
I decided to do something a little different that I've never done before and I made homemade veggie burgers and honestly they were so easy I don't know why I haven't made them before but I just cut up very finely some carrots onion and mushrooms and then I sauteed them and just cooked them down with some garlic until they were cooked <music> So then I just mashed down a can of black beans and then into it I added the veggies that I had just sauteed. My arm hurts from mashing this. And then I ended up adding in a bunch of spices like cumin, um, just like a mixed spice of some salts and stuff, some garlic powder, some onion powder. I think I added in some salt afterwards too. I added in about two teaspoons of uh, tomato paste and then I mix it all through. And then after that, I added in oat flour just to kind of bind everything together. And everything was really roughly estimated. Like I didn't measure anything. I just kind of winged it until it all came together. I then made them into patties just to the size I wanted them and I cooked it at I believe like 375 for about 20 minutes, flipped, and then it ended up being about 20 more minutes. And just for a little extra something fun today, I decided to try out these cheese slices from Violife and it was really good. I don't usually have these type of things, but I really liked it. Happy Friday guys. So for today at breakfast, I did a big smoothie bowl and I just added bananas, blueberries, some riced cauliflower that was frozen and some ice and protein powder and blended it up. I topped it with some coconut yogurt that I had left over from the day before, some blueberries, and then some more of my homemade granola. I was just kind of out and about, so I grabbed an iced oat milk latte and then from a local restaurant, I picked up a buffalo cauliflower salad and it just had like pickled red onions, some tempeh, a like vegan ranch sauce is really good. While I made dinner, I snacked on some hippies per usual because they're so good. And then once dinner rolled around, I didn't want anything super heavy. So I just had a leftover of the veggie burgers and then I chopped up some fresh veggies, some avocado and I air fried some zucchini slices and it was so good. And I topped my veggie burger with some vegan cream cheese and it was delicious.
but yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found some inspiration make sure to follow me on here and on instagram and i'll see you guys next time